devour those showers. Hey there, Star Fam, your friendly neighborhood curiosity explorer Trace Dominguez here to answer a question that a lot of people have about the stars. Why is it that meteor showers happen every year? Meteor showers aren't actually showers. They're more like bugs on the windshield of our giant spaceship Earth. Think of each shower as a mass of debris in space. And as we pass through that debris, not unlike, say, when your truck passes through a swarm of bugs, splat. Showers are named for the region of the sky from which they emanate. The Leonids come from Leo, the Geminids from Gemini, and so on. But they are also associated with something in our orbit, like the trail of a comet. Comets and asteroids are made of rock and dust and ice and gas. And as they approach the sun, bits of the comet or asteroid are heated and they start to burn away, leaving behind a tail. The tail is made of little bits of the parent body that it leaves behind in the orbit of the sun. During a meteor shower, Earth is flying through the leftovers from events just like these. The meteors themselves aren't actually very big. They're ranging from the size of dust particles to small boulders. The bigger they are, the more spectacular they'll appear in the sky. The meteors burn up in the atmosphere because of friction. See, the Earth is moving super fast through space, like 30 kilometers per second or so. When a meteor is floating in space, it hits our literal windshield, and the friction of the air causes it to burn up. Some meteor showers are better than others because of the type of debris that's included in that section of our orbit. The Geminids are caused by a bizarre blue rock comet named 3200 Phaeton, and the Leonids are left by Comet Temple Tuttle, which passes Earth every 33 years. This is why different meteor showers are each unique, because each has a different parent body, but also regular because each parent body has a regular orbit. So meteor showers are caused by the trail left behind by asteroids and comets orbiting the sun. They come at the same time every year because we pass through those trails at the same time in our orbit around the sun. That said, meteors actually fall into our atmosphere all the time, literally every day. Some bit of dust or ice, rock or man-made junk hits the thin blanket of air protecting our planet. We just call those single events shooting stars instead, which is why when it's dark, you should definitely keep looking up.